Hey, this is Khan from Ninja Pulse. Update 40 is coming to PC on October 30th, along with some tweaks to our DPS setups. This very short video explains exactly why and how they're changing, and that it's not the end of the world if you just leave your setup as it is. The big deal is Endless Archive itself. Not much is actually happening with the combat system. But let's address the elephant in the room. Pillar of Nern got nerfed. A lot has already been said about this, but let me try to cut to the quick. The truth is, the DPS loss is small. The proc is losing about 2k DPS, and we gain a bit of that back from the stat change from stamina to crit chance. Magicka players who don't read the patch notes might not even notice the change. But anyone who does track damage sources will want to switch to Aegis Caller. That also got a stat change and is stronger than Pillar now, so logs are going to show Pillar of Nern going from one of the most widely used sets to vanishing overnight, as if it got nuked from orbit. The funny thing with any meta is that even when the differences are small, we behave as though they are massive, distorting the picture. What I'm saying is use Aegis Caller if you have it, but don't panic if you don't. Pillar of Nern still really strong, and if your target is moving a lot, then Aegis Caller isn't going to be great anyway. I hope that clears things up a bit. New class sets are also coming, of course. They're an interesting bunch, and there are a couple that I have my eye on, but none of them looks like they're immediately going to be mandatory for PvE stuff. I would start collecting them anyway because they drop in all three weights, so it is going to take a while, and you never know when they'll get buffed. There's a new group finder, not a trial queue as some people seem to think, so don't be disappointed if it's not magically transformative. It's basically Craglorn's own chat, but game-wide, which is still pretty cool. Inferno now buffs when slotted on either bar, Corrosive disables Ultigen, Radiant Glory restores Magicka, Permafrost deals less damage, Dawnbreaker has a larger cone. Master crafting stations are finally coming, and jewelry crafting is about to become a lot less extortionate. Stuga will finally shut up, XP and gold from writs and quests are being rebalanced, a new card deck and a ton of smaller fixes that affect AoE sets and abilities, pets, that twitching light attack bug, and loads more that are way too numerous to mention. That about covers it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I've been updating the DPS guides and will start pushing those out as soon as the patch goes live and I can verify them. Until then, take care guys and thanks for watching.